Making clay pots is one of the skills most Papua New Guinean villages acquire through information passed down over the centuries from generations. For Bilbil village, an island located offshore of Medang town, clay pots are a very significant part of their life. It was used for trade during the barter system. There are six stages involved in making clay pots depending on the size of the pot. They make their pots using traditional methods. The first part is mixing clay with sand and mix with water again. They then shave the mouth of the pot and leave it for a few days to dry before hollowing out the inside of the pot and then it is left to dry before the smoothing stage. So after that, then by losing the pot now, so about a week, the wind will dry off the boots, which are not lay, not, and then after a week, we plan putting the fire. So not going to put the fire, we plan it into part, different fires. One plan to try and fire, and we plan to try and hit him on this round clay. So we plan to plant him, so suppose I send him by each other, send him up. So, and then after that, we plan to try and fire, we plan to put him on the fire. Pots are fired and left for two days before being fired again and ready for use. The clay pots come in different sizes with prices ranging from the lowest of 15 kina to 80 kina. The local people of Bilbil village depend mostly on the sale of their clay pots to make ends meet. The business is thriving in the tourism sector, especially for Medang. And for Bilbil, it is something they are passionate about to expand into to reach the wider market outside of PNG. They also made an informal presentation to the chairperson of the APEC senior finance officials meeting held last Friday. Martha Luis, National MTV News, Medang.